I turned this camera on in this dark well. Maria and I snuck back out. I'm gonna see if I can light this crab up on this rock for y'all. Y'all see how big that guy is there? Well, if I had my net, there's no doubt I'd bring him on in. Or right, my uncle Jamel was with me, no, no doubt he'd bring him in as well. But I can't reach down there and grab him. He's way too big for me. And uh, well, let me get this shirt off. I might try him anyway. I told Maria, let's just ride until the map turns blue. We got just enough money and just enough gas. Maybe we'll make it. I would like to get under one of them structures right there. See if I can get some old clams off of it and drop them down to the bottom. Try to catch a grouper. Big mean grouper. Big mean grouper. Looks like a nice little walk away. Everybody gets their exercise around here. Gotta be looking good at the beach. We riding over the great St. Louis, Missouri Bridge, the famous Golden Arches. See if we can get us a big double. In case y'all didn't know, well, part of homesteading is well, taking some days off and trying to catch some crabs. Well, not them kind of crabs neither. Everybody ain't able to eat at them fancy five-star restaurants. Well, some of us got to order some cheap takeout. Is it any good, DJ? Talking about country like eating on the AC unit. Me and B out here, well, we catching these crabs, and we struck a friendship up over this one. And uh, good one now. What you gonna do, little B? Before we start any recreational video, y'all know we got to tour the place. Uh, we got a nice king size. Well, no, they might be twins. We don't know. Well, it's a cheap throwaway bucket room. Them guys hiding out. They say they don't want to be part of the video yet. But, uh, and Maria's always, she's got to go. She's got to go. But, uh, that's all the touring for this one. Well, I'll take this one. The boys will take that one. What about me? Skylar can have that chair there. Let's go find some sand. Well, cross the creek. Back again with another one. Back again with another one. And well, on this one here, well, I meant to give you guys more of a rundown of what we were doing, but uh, me and Maria got into a little, little disagreement, or argument, whatever you want to call it. And well, I've been just been giving the silent treatment to her. Well, I, I'm trying to win the argument. Trying to win the argument. But uh, speech looks good here. What we're going to do is, well, but uh, as you guys can tell, as you saw in your last video, well, we sold the farm and uh, well, we're the first homeless homestead. First homeless homestead. And uh, well, we soaking up that energy right now. But uh, in this video here, well, there won't be no animals. What I'll try to do is I'll try to get some of the men on the channel. Well, some of the women in the bikinis and all. Well, no, I can't do that. But uh, I was just cracking you guys a joke. But, uh, we're gonna get in here and get after. Maybe we'll rescue that boat. Well, and then we'll get some of the bikini pictures. Let's get after it. Well, as you head into the check-in area here, there's beautiful plants and, uh, and all kind of architecture. They're a beautiful place. Well, I sure hope the roof don't leak. We're gonna get in here and check out the breakfast side. And of course, everywhere you go, you gotta check out, well, what they got to do in the area here. But uh, I don't know, this is a sauna pool area here. Uh, bathroom, we won't use that at all. Uh, the only way we use that sink there is we need something to put our live bait in. But uh, breakfast area here. Uh, we gonna get changed and well, look at how the cakes look. I have a little red velvet, pink strawberry, we don't know. Uh, nice breakfast area here. And, uh, you guys know everywhere we go, we gotta show you guys, well, the breakfast area. But uh, we gonna get on out of here. We were not gonna invade on them people's breakfast. Uh, we gonna get on to this room. Well, see if we can get after it. Maybe find something to get into. Well. Like we say, there's no excuse for a lack of effort. And well, today you can expect a lot of effort from CJ and I. Let's get after it. Well, as y'all can see, they bought the Fox truck in. Well, with all the satellites and all. Well, I guess the Fox team must have sent this guy in here. Well, to find out where I've been wearing them out at in my fishing holes. Let's get moving. Well, you guys heard that right. We're out here checking effect style. And, uh, well, on this one here, we don't know, well, 
we thinking about going across the coast and well pitching that thing out and doing some little fish well let me quit lying we don't have too much time to fish well we've got to get back home well work on get some of them animals moved well if we're going to be the first successful homestead well to start a homestead from scratch and do that thing in about 30 days or so well huh we can't be at no beach that's for sure but, uh, i was thinking about making my way up to that boat there and uh well We're gonna see if we can catch us some old fiddler crabs in this area right here by this little structure here. Uh, just off that structure there, well, we're hoping it might be some fiddler crabs in there and all. And uh, if it is, we're gonna bring them guys up out of their country style. Uh, they're taking the kayaks out and all. I don't know if you guys can see that in the distance, but uh, well, they said they're getting ready to go wear them out. They said they got them some crabs. Sorry about that wind noise, guys. But they said they got them some crabs and well, they finna go out there and bump the bottom. Uh, catfish sumo style. And uh, well, who knows? They might get hooked up. They might get hooked up. But uh, I got lots of something in the water right here. I'm making my way to it. I want to see what that is. Look like a jellyfish on there. I can't grab them. Well, jellyfish will get you pretty good. We're going to make our way back over to Maria and see what, what they got planned on this side. Well, thanks for following us this far. I'm zoomed in on this area here. Well, I saw a pretty good sized blue crab running down through there. Well, they're so fast you can't catch them. But uh, I've been seeing crabs and pinfish and all. And uh, well, we in here like fearless and far trying to run them crabs down. And well, the reason why I want to catch hold one of them pinfish, well, I've been watching Fisherholic and he said you hook that pinfish up just right. And well, <laughs> you might drop it down there and catch you one of them old groupers, is what he say. But uh, and uh, speaking of which, well, Catfish Sumo, aka Thick School of Vision, well, he don't know it, but uh, well, I snuck off of one of them orange ultralight reels from out of this garage there, and well, I hook up one of these pinfish and drop them down, and uh, I'm thinking I might can wear something out. I saw a big blue crab a minute ago, big one, he ran from me. just on the outside of crab island there and uh well you get yourself a good sized crab in this area right here well huh. set the drag set the drag we just kind of let the boys enjoy themselves here in Skyler and all and well we kind of getting them a break from moving and everything well we've been getting a lot of questions on the moving and all and well maria and i well we looked at each other and we said well when you start from nothing you got nothing to lose well we teamed up, we sold that thing, and well, who knows? We're gonna try our hand somewhere else. Maybe we can make something. Well, I apologize about all the wind noise there in the camera, but uh, well, you guys think I got the balance that it takes to make my way across this whole thing? Well, I ain't had to do this since Drake, since Drake. And I used to pull them five and six pound bass off the structure there. Maria says she's got a better view there. That wind's coming right into y'all's screen. But, uh, is it slick? Is it slicker than goose poop? Woo, going anyway. If I fall, maybe it'll catch me. Very cool throwback boat there. Well, it looks like it's bank. It looks like, well, they didn't let the trim up high enough when they bought it. Them boys then say they found a little spot where, where the water meets the sand and they said, well, they'll make their way on in. Uh, they in there cooling off doggy paddling and such. Well, truth be told, they make themselves at home. Well, no matter it's fresh water, salt water, who knows? And one on the right there said he after a big shark. He want to catch a great white before he get out of here. Well, Maria and I we got plans, well, to build a homestead from scratch. And well, we're going to try to pull that sucker off in 90 days. And uh, when I say from scratch, I mean from the floor joists up. And uh, well, we've jumped into this new debt-free style of living. And well, we're gonna try to see how this things work. So if you guys follow this channel, what you'll see is, well, you'll see us do the groundwork. And then of course, well, you'll see the animals come in. We've got to get a new crop of animals. Some of them we kept with us. Well, we'll be bringing old Nehemiah with us. That's no doubt, you know, on Esther. But uh, old collard green, we're not bringing with us, but well, for my collard green fans. But uh, what we're gonna do is, well, you guys are gonna see us bring in all new animals. You guys are gonna see us do some building on the home that we're gonna be living in. And well, we're hoping to rewrite, well, the American dream, the American dream. Just like anybody else, if we can get that debt off us, well, we can find out what it really means to be living. What it really means to be living. And uh, well, with that being said, we hope you guys come on with us.
was at. Well, watch him build this thing every step of the way. Well, one of the ladies up the bank here, this area here, well, she's been found her a crab, and well, now I've got to have me one. I got a hankering for it. Well, I say, well, if she's found one, I can too. Y'all see any down under there? Well, I'm getting a little nervous. Well, I ain't the best swimmer in the world. Is that one right there? No, it's too big. Try to see. I might try to see if I can catch the same one she just caught. Ooh, it won't be no catch and release on my end. I'm gonna fry them whole country style. Huh? huh? Can't forget the Zatarans. Trying to see if I can run down well an old reef shark or well maybe an old dolphin. I don't know. But uh, that's the plan so far. And if I get me an octopus, well, I might skin him too. Hang him by his gills well from a hanger and skin him out. Y'all, I think I might have spotted my first blue crab right there. We're going in after that sucker. Oh, well, that ain't no crab. Ain't nothing but some Welch's fruit snacks. Whoa. Well, Maria's then caught up with me. Obviously, I was kidding about the bikini part. I just tried to see if I could get two or three more views on this thing. What you gonna do with them? Hmm, maybe use it. Yeah, we might take them home and make them a pet. Or you running them up there and put them in the live well? That's right, live well everywhere we go. Live well, live well. We don't waste nothing. Oh, that is a crab. He's alive too. See him coming out of there? Whoa, I'm scared of that. Oh, he's on fire. Take him on. He said he ain't staying not one bit. He don't care if y'all uh, like or subscribe or not. And he said, well, he's headed back to the ocean. No, you're not. No, he ain't. Let's throw this guy back. What's he right He won't be set free today. Let's go catch another one. You need some help? Oh, you doubled up. What's, oh, you need that guy too. Yeah, Let's go. that one's fine. He said he'll go back in. He said he don't care who he belongs to. But, uh, well, I don't know. That's half my catch on that one. We're going to sell that guy to the pet shop well, for $8. $8. Well, they're stacking up the cat crab collection here. Well, I'm out trying to hunt an old fancy blue crab. Yeah, if I catch one of them things, well, I'll let y'all know how it goes. You're not leaving, Hill. Mm. In case y'all didn't know, well, part of homesteading is, well, taking some days off and trying to catch some crabs. Well, not them kind of crabs, neither. We trying to catch the good kind of crabs. And, uh, well, we might fry them or boil them. We don't know. But uh, they catch some pretty good games right now. I hadn't done my part. I still hadn't added much to the live well. But uh, little did they know, well, I ain't hunting no crab. I'm trying to figure out how we can get us, well, an old 60 thrust pound Minkota hook to this thing. Well, we can go out and catch some amberjack and some ladyfish. Put the other hand in front, disguise. Yeah, so you can just throw them off. Scared. Scared of him. Well, there he is there. He's mad nonetheless. Let me see if I can get something to run him at. They're bringing them crabs in left and right. And, uh, well, Maria and I combined can't out whoop uh, Mr. Good Furry on this old crab catching thing. And, uh, well, with that being said, I apologize about the wind noise there. I'm having to talk as loud as I can. But uh, maybe soon we get hooked up to an old crab and I have something to show y'all. He ran on one down. There was some big ones over there. Real big ones. Like rock there. Well, I mean, you, you said that would count for me since you're on my team. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I thought I was Thanks, on your team. Thanks, Daddy. They'll get you if you touch him, though. Where are his clampers? He's cool. Don't 
bite me there. Oh, I see it. They're kind of small. Mm. They look blue in the water with your goggles. Yeah. Wow, there's a crab right here. Where? Right here. Oh, B say found some, y'all. You on top of this? He's gonna locate the crab. He didn't run on the rocks on you, probably. It's hard to catch them. They get away quick. I'm talking yeah. about quicker than a kick up. I'm talking about been waiting for two weeks quick. Whoa. Uh, crab, will you tell these people to like and subscribe? He said, no, he ain't saying nothing because he should have released it. I ain't brave enough to get underwater and chase him now, so I'm just going to be the camera guy. I'm going to be the camera guy. He, they in there deep. They up underneath the boat where they're trying to run these uh, blue crab down. I saw like six fish. A, a bunch of fish going under there? Yeah. The old boat, huh? Old boat. We're getting toward the later part of the evening here, but what, we're still running these guys down under there. CJ still babysitting the gizzard. They said they're going to try to get them something money there. Stuff. He running them down nonetheless, man. Beat him in the star of this show. And, uh, well, if it weren't for him, we wouldn't see no crap for that. Hey, buddy. You small. Mm. What you gonna name him, B? Uh, Let's name him Small. Spruce Snacks. Spruce Snacks. Small. Small, yeah. You gonna keep him from putting him back? Uh, you don't know yet. Oh, bro. We need to get one big. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Might you do that? Man, I ran this one down and caught him with my bare hands. I'm gonna put this guy back and gonna get another one. Well, these children here that started their own game, they said they ain't interested in running down no geese at all. But they said they gonna play an old fashioned game with duck duck goose. But uh, nonetheless, everybody's enjoying themselves and having a good time. Oh, they playing a little freeze tag. I used to be the king of that old freeze tag. Kids having a good time. Well, the adults are either, so it's been a pleasant stop nonetheless. Let's get back after these crabs. Well, everywhere we go, I always catch fish and there's another one. We're gonna put this guy in and get back out there. Well, CJ stopped and chasing the crab and said he wanted to tell y'all something. And I guess we all kind of know what it is. Thanks for 